I play the character Jenny, uh, I'm Roger's wife. Um, I think she's very loving and she's very um, family oriented. Although I feel like she is a little bit self-evolved. Her husband Roger is not happy with his life. And maybe not necessarily the, the family life, but what he does for a living. When are you shooting? I don't know. A bunch of things I need to finish up before I can make time for it. Hmm. Lots of times she's brushing off what he's talking about when he's talking about what he really wants to be doing. I am determined to get this documentary moving. It's such a strong, inspiring story. I'm, I'm just itching to dive into it. Well, that's great, honey. I'm sure it'll be a nice little venture for you. So Jenny is a very supportive wife in everything that he does, in what he is doing currently. She is very supportive in the sense of it's like whatever he needs, but it's mostly about what she needs. <laughs> What's wrong with the house? The guest room bed needs to be replaced, yeah. remember? I do it, but I need to clear out the storage in there, get new bedding, clean the carpets. Okay, what if I go shop for the bed? That would be such a help, thank you. He's talking about certain things that he needs to do, um, and She's there to cheer him on, but she's not really hearing the fact that what he wants to do, he's not getting to do. Jenny is part of Roger's disorganized zone because he's not really doing what he wants to do in this life. He has a job that is part of what he would love to be doing, but it's what he settled for. Jenny seems to always have tasks that need to be done, whether they're hers or part of the family's, um, but every time Roger seems to find a moment that he can uh, put towards his dream, Jenny seems to always come around and kind of put a little wrench in it. Having the kids visit has been a good excuse to get a lot of these long overdue projects finished. Like the dripping faucet in the bathroom, adding the new closet system to our bedroom, and hanging the new sconces that I bought for the living room. Jenny actually is a friend of the organizer, but seems familiar to her husband, Roger. This is my husband, Roger. Hi. Do I know you? Oh, well, it's possible that our paths have crossed. I do get around in my line of work, and I've been told I have a very familiar face. He's been having these dreams where he feels like he knows her, but maybe it's something his subconscious is maybe telling him. This is what you want to be working on, isn't it? You have a passion, a strong purpose that inspires you and has the potential to inspire others. So why aren't you doing it? I feel that this story of the disorganized zone is very relatable to a lot of people. Uh, I feel a lot of people out there are not really living the life that they want to live, are not realizing the dreams that they've had. You're making a documentary? How impressive! No, it's still in its very early stages. I've had it sitting on a shelf for years. Well, now you're launching it into action. That's exciting. Is it going to be for TV? TV? That's what you remind me of. You can see the relationship that this has to the Twilight Zone. Um, and, and it's all in fun as well. So because it's in fun and, and you can kind of see the humor in it, you can also relate to it. You know, just like with a lot of the shows in the past, there's always a moral to the story. And I think that's one of the good things about the disorganized zone. Because it has its morals, it has, it has its story that it's telling, and um, giving you the answer that you're looking for that's always usually right there in front of you anyway. What was once only a dream found its way into reality through his trip to the disorganized zone.